It was Friday Night Lights in Philadelphia as the Golden Hurricane took on the Temple Owls. Find out what happened next on the Philip Montgomery Show coming up. Philip Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, by Pepsi. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Philip Montgomery Show. I'm Bruce Howard. TU made the long trek to the east of Philadelphia to take on the Temple Owls on Friday night. And Tulsa, after a slow start, came away with the victory, 27-16, over the Owls to get to 3-4 and four on the season. In a moment, we'll talk about the off week. It wasn't a week off, but it was a bye week. We'll talk about how Tulsa prepared, and then, of course, the first half highlights. All of that coming up next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Hey, TU fans, it's that time of year again. Yes, fall is here, and so is TU Homecoming. We hope you'll join us at H.A. Chapman Stadium on Saturday, October 29th, as we take on SMU. Make sure you get there early for the Tulsa Tent Party, taking place on Chapman Commons, all under one giant tent, with musical guests playing white tees taking the stage two hours prior to the game. Get your tickets now at TulsaHurricane.com. A decade of power performance. And a vision for a powerful future. This is the American Athletic Conference. Just imagine you in a luxurious Mercedes cruising the open road in style. Let yourself dare to dream during River Spirit's Mercedes giveaway. The ultimate dream car could be your reality when you play for one of two Mercedes-Benz SUVs. Earn entries daily with your Connect Card for both dreamy car giveaways on October 29th. So what are you waiting for? Dare to dream big and play for your 2022 Mercedes SUV. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. We're back on the Philip Montgomery Show. It was the seventh all-time meeting between TU and Temple, each team winning three in the previous six, and each team with two out of three at home. Well, this is a game on the road for TU here in Philadelphia, so let's get the lead-up to the game, and then first half highlights, my broadcast partner, Rick Corey, and head coach, Philip Montgomery. Gentlemen. All right, thanks, Bruce. Coach, never easy to go on the road, especially a long trip like this, and you had the bye week. Tell me about what the bye week was about, besides being healthy. Yeah, I mean, the healthy was was a main emphasis, right? We needed to get good work. Uh, we went into the bye week with the opportunity to say, hey, we've got to get our run game a little bit more established. I thought we did that tonight. Uh, we still got to clean up some things in the, in the passing game part of it, especially from the protection side of it. Um, but really proud of our offensive line and those running backs and the tight ends and what they did in the run game. Um, it bailed us out. Our defense played unbelievable tonight. Uh, we needed that, obviously, uh, with the mistakes that we made early. Uh, but our team just stayed resilient, stayed on top of it, and uh, found a way to win. And that's what you got to do in conference play. Looking at this team coming in, you knew offensively they had some struggles, but they had a good defensive front. What kind of yeah. problems did they pre present? Well, I mean, they're really athletic, especially on the defensive line part of it. You know, 13's a guy that can give you problems, 9 can give you problems. They do a lot of different blitz stuff. Uh, we saw a lot of things that they haven't <coughs> shown on tape tonight. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, um, it was good to see our guys being able to, to handle some of the things in the run game like we needed to. Uh, there was a point in there, especially in the second quarter, that I thought our offensive line did a nice job and we got into a little rhythm throwing the football and, 
and that kind of made the difference for us. And so we just got to continue to keep building. You're going to watch the first half highlights. The first few minutes, you might not call highlights, but they'll get past it. Here's the first half of Tulsa and Temple in Philadelphia. Second and four for Tulsa. Motion from right to left by Stokes. Fake handoff, throw left side. Stokes, it's intercepted. It is picked off on the play, and taking it all the way is Leighton Jordan. Jordan takes it all the way on the near side. A 35-yard return as the pass to Stokes was a little bit short. And Leighton Jordan, the outside linebacker, picks it and takes it back to the house for Temple. Santana out of the shotgun, Bryn. And here's the snap, and the handoff goes to Anderson, and Anderson plugs forward and is able to dive, surging to the 25-yard line back, and Bryn out of the shotgun, 7-0. Temple leads early moments of the game after a pick six. Here's the snap, and a fake handoff, throw over the middle, intercepted again. Another interception as Temple picks off another one. Jalen McMurray cuts in front of the Tulsa receiver, Epps. From the 22 right hash mark, it is a 32-yard attempt for Camden Price, who is three for three on the year. Snap is back. The ball is down. Here's the kick. It's on the way, and it is good. And Temple has taken advantage of two turnovers to take an early 10-0 lead here in the first quarter. First down and 10 at the six, and the handoff off the left side. And it's Daneric Prince, and Prince burrowing to the 12, 13, maybe the 14-yard line. That's from the 14-yard line. TU down 10 to nothing. Temple shifts late. And a fake handoff, quick throw, left side caught Santana. Santana eludes a man far boundary at the 25 to the 26. Has the snap, fake handoff, deep drop. He steps up, he pump fakes, he throws over the middle. Caught by Stokes at the 45 and bang forward to the 41 of Temple. Down to the 41 yard line, a 16 yard gain. He's 12 away from Howard Twilley's all time record. Here's the snap and the handoff. Prince. Prince cuts through a hole to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, banging forward to the 25 yard line. Third and three from the 18. Back to pass. Brin throws left side. Prince catches it. Far boundary 15 to the 10 to the 5. Diving into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. What a run by Prince after the catch. He was going to get the first down, and he went far boundary, stayed in bounds, and lunged into the end zone. Far left pylon. And Tulsa's on the board. It's 10 6. And snap is back. The ball is down. Here's the kick on the way, and it is good. And we have a timeout with the offense. Here's the snap. Warner will run it off the left side. Warner angling left. A flag flies. Going to be a holding on Temple. And Jerry, uh, I say Jerry Ostrowski. Owen Ostrowski made the tackle. He was at 1.10 to go. Here's the snap on first down. Back to pass Brin. Blitz coming. He steps up. Now he throws. Left side. Caught by Stokes at the 37-yard line and yanked backwards. And that's about a nine-yard gain. And I think that is, that is the record. record for Stokes. He is now at 32 on the game. It's something that I definitely set out to do when I first came here, when I first came to TV. I always said that I was gonna be, leave my legacy, basically. Honestly, I wouldn't be here without my team, so I mean, I gotta get this ball out of the team and thank the team for this whole record. Now back to pass, Bryn on second and one. Throws over the middle, and a lunging catch at the 25, and down to the 23-yard line, Santana on second and 10. Here's the snap. They bring a four-man rush. Bryn retreating, retreating, now throwing left side. It is caught at the five-yard line and bashed out of bounds on the play is Malachi Jones at the four. Second and goal from the three. Here's the snap. Bryn, an inside shovel pass. It goes to Ethan Hall, and Hall barges into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. Ethan Hall with his third career touchdown. An inside shovel pass to your H-back tight end, and Hall has scored to give Tulsa the lead with 11 seconds to go in the first half. Odom tried to stop him, but you're not going to stop number 47 from getting into the end zone in that situation. No, and what an improbable comeback at this point. I mean, the game's still, you still got half of it to play, but considering how it started, that's some guts to fight back like that. And snap is back, the ball is down, here's the kick on the way, and it is straight through there. And the Golden Hurricane has stolen the lead here late in the So TU gets a huge touchdown at the end of the first half, and they lead it 14 to 10 at halftime. Adjustments and then second half highlights next on the Philip Montgomery Show.
Hey, TU fans, it's that time of year again. Yes, fall is here, and so is TU Homecoming. We hope you'll join us at H.A. Chapman Stadium on Saturday, October 29th, as we take on SMU. Make sure you get there early for the Tulsa Tent Party, taking place on Chapman Commons, all under one giant tent, with musical guests playing white tees taking the stage two hours prior to the game. Get your tickets now at TulsaHurricane.com. A decade of power performance. And a vision for a powerful future. This is the American Athletic Conference. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the healthcare needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System, healthcare for life. Welcome back to the Philip Montgomery Show. At halftime, Tulsa leads 14 to 10. Let's go to adjustments at halftime and then get the second half highlights. Here is head coach Philip Montgomery and Rick Corey. Guys? All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, coach, going into the half, you really came back from a difficult start. Tell me how you got past that 10 nothing start. Well, you know, again, our defense played lights out, right? And really felt like they were fixing to start creating some turnovers. Mm -hmm. I thought we had some opportunities in there, really, really close on a few. The 96 yard drive when we're backed up and being able to use a little bit of tempo in there. We had a couple of good runs in there. We were mixing run to pass. And I really thought that kind of opened up for us, kind of gave us some confidence, gave us some rhythm. And uh, I thought that was kind of the key to us kind of getting started again. So what were the key things at half you guys talked about doing differently? in, the, in Well, the I thought running the football, we were doing some good things in it. We needed to continue to lean that way. We had a lead coming out. Uh, we knew we were fixing to get the football in the, at the start the, sec the second half and really wanted to go get points. We had a good drive going, uh, end up, uh, I think, with a sack fumble that we recovered, which put us behind the chains, which was difficult to do. Um, but we knew we wanted to come out and reestablish the line of scrimmage with the run game and then start playing off of that, throwing the football. All right, and you're going to see a fantastic running game finish this thing. Here's the second half highlights of Tulsa and the Owls. For TU. Motion by Stokes, here's the snap, and the handoff goes off the left side. Anderson, big hole, 10, 15, 20, stumbling forward. He's outside the numbers to the 25, gets it near the 30 before he is up and Here's the snap to Bryn, and the handoff goes to Prince. Prince stutter stepping, goes forward. He gets it to the 35, to the 40, 45, 50, still on his feet, rolling to the 45, still running. Now he has the ball jarred loose, it's loose. It is loose as he continued to fight for yardage. Eventually, they ripped it out of there. And let's see who recovered. No signal yet. All the Temple guys are saying it's their ball. A horrible turnover for Tulsa. Temple gets it. Sadie to the left of Warner. And he gets the handoff and gets hit immediately and dropped. What a play by Sawyer. Oh, my. Straight away. Snap is back, ball is down, the kick is a line drive shot and it is no good, he hooked it off to the left and Tulsa survives the turnover. Substitutes here at the end of the plate. Here's the snap, Brin back to pass, flag is down, a throw to the left side, caught by Prince, left side boundary to the 40, 45 to the 50 and bounced out of bounds on the play by Elijah Clark. TU leading 14 to 10, last few moments of the third quarter of play. Brin out of the shotgun, awaits the snap. 
Chest high snap, back to pass. Here comes the blitz. He's back to pass, and he throws near side. Caught. Epps able to spin away from the defender at the 40 of Temple and on second and long. Here's the snap and the handoff again. Ford on the left side. Jitterbugs gets to the 30, cuts inside. He gets to the 25 now. Outside numbers, left side to the 15 and down near the 10-yard line. And what a wonderful job of coverage. Brin out of the shotgun, now Stokes in motion to the right, and now back to the left. Third and 10, here's the snap, back the pass, Brin throws over the middle, and it is caught by Malachi Jones at the six and wrestled back at the numbers. And that was a good play by Cameron Ruiz, and he got about three on the play, and I think there's no question you gotta kick this. Yeah, it's a 25 yarder for Long, who on the season is seven of 10. Snap back, the ball down, here's the kick on the way, and it is true, and the Golden Hurricane has a seven point lead here early in the fourth quarter. Warner out of the shotgun, Sadie is to his right, and the handoff goes left side, Sadie, he gets buried at the 39, a loss of two on the play, and it'll be second and very long as uh, Justin Wright came in there quickly on the run blitz and nailed it. Stokes is back at the 15. He has the snap and now runs and kicks a line drive center of the field, hits at the 15, and Stokes fields it. And Brin out of the shotgun, Prince is the running back. Prince has 127 yards on the ground in the game, and he has the handoff up the middle, big hole, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He is in open spaces at the 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown, Prince. It is 85 yards up the middle. And Prince outraced the two safeties that were gonna try to close on him. And he took it all the way. 84 yards officially for the score for Prince. And Prince is over 200 yards for the game. Goodness gracious. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it is good. And the first two score lead in this game since Temple was ahead 10-0. Motion from right to left. Now back to pass goes Warner, floats it over the middle, caught by Anderson. Anderson to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, diving, pylon, touchdown. Back. Here's the snap, the ball is down, the kick, it's on the way, it has the distance, and it is good. And Tulsa has locked this one up. It's 27-16, Golden Hurricane. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. been smoking the good stuff over 20 years, serving up mouth-watering barbecue, talking about slow-smoked classics like Rib Crib's famous ribs. Yeah. Hungry at Rib Crib. Just imagine you in a luxurious Mercedes cruising the open road in style. Let yourself dare to dream during River Spirit's Mercedes giveaway. The ultimate dream car could be your reality when you play for one of two Mercedes-Benz SUVs. Earn entries daily with your Connect card for both dreamy car giveaways on October 29th. So what are you waiting for? Dare to dream big and play for your 2022 Mercedes SUV. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Welcome back to the Philip Montgomery Show. Our feature segment revolves around an event 15 years ago. It was the first ever game at H.A. Chapman Stadium after the new end zone complex in the north side of the stadium, the Case Athletic Complex. It was a great game. Tulsa BYU, fireworks galore. Let's take a look. 
The 2007 home opener for Tulsa was against powerhouse BYU. With the new Case North End Zone Complex just complete, Coach Todd Graham's team was ready for a high-powered showdown. I remember learning that Charles Clay was going to turn out to be a really good football player. Rolling to the left side, Smith setting up, has time, now floats it to the near side, and it is caught by Charles Clay at the 8 and into the end zone. Touchdown, TU, 43 yards. But that was only the beginning. Moments later, the Golden Hurricane took the lead. Rolling to the right, has some time, still rolling, throws end zone, caught by Trey Johnson. Touchdown, TU, 17-yard touchdown pass. After BYU tied the game at 14, Smith and his friends were at it again. Deep drop, Smith throws long over the middle. It's in the air. Marion is there, catches it, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, TU, 75-yard touchdown pass. BYU had answers almost every time, but in this first half of football ping pong, TU again found Clay. Smith, fake handoff, back to pass, has time, throws, end zone, Clay, caught, touchdown, TU, 18-yard touchdown pass, Paul Smith to Charles Clay, his second score. Down 28-21, BYU finished the half strong, and in this crazy wild game, the Cougars held a 34-31 lead at intermission. You might not think there was much defense in this game, but TU cashed in on a defensive break early in the third quarter. It's intercepted by Roberts, left side, 45, 40, 35, 30, he can go, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Roy Roberts. Roy Roberts picked six, flipped the lead back to the Hurricane, and after the defense got another stop on a Chris Chamberlain interception, Tulsa got their first two-score lead as Terry and Adams charged in from 10, and it was 45-34. I, I recall never being comfortable. You know, I, I remember thinking, okay, I think we're going to get a chance to separate, our, separate ourselves a little bit here. And it never really got to a comfortable place, uh, even though we were having a great game. And BYU cut the lead to 52-47. TU did get a field goal, but the eight-point lead was still precarious late in the fourth quarter. And the Hurricane defense needed to make one last stop. Chris Chamberlain crushes the BYU tight end, jarring the ball loose, and Steve Craver scoops it up to secure Tulsa's first ever win against BYU. What an offensive showing with 102 points, 1,289 yards of total offense, and over 1,000 passing yards. That might be my best game ever. And I remember looking at the stat sheet and I realized the quarterback for BYU had a better game than I did, even though we came out with a victory. So that was, that was humbling for me. In their first ever win over BYU, Tulsa prevails 15 years ago. TU fans, it's that time of year again. Yes, fall is here and so is TU Homecoming. We hope you'll join us at H.A. Chapman Stadium on Saturday, October 29th as we take on SMU. Make sure you get there early for the Tulsa Tent Party taking place on Chapman Commons all under one giant tent with musical guests playing white tees taking the stage two hours prior to the game. Get your tickets now at TulsaHurricane.com. Just imagine you in a luxurious Mercedes cruising the open road in style. Let yourself dare to dream during River Spirit's Mercedes giveaway. The ultimate dream car could be your reality when you play for one of two Mercedes-Benz SUVs. Earn entries daily with your Connect Card for both dreamy car giveaways on October 29th. So what are you waiting for? Dare to dream big and play for your 2022 Mercedes SUV. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. A decade of power performance. And a vision for a powerful future. This is the American Athletic Conference. 
And so 27-16 is the final, and I mean, really, you had a lot of things to talk about tonight. We would be terribly remiss if we didn't talk about Keelan Stokes becoming the number one all-time leading receiver in the history of the school. I mean, what, what, a, what a feat, what an honor. Um, anytime when you are moving up the record book like he has throughout his career, but Howard Twilley is such a legend. Yeah. And I think you were saying, what did you say, 52 years? 52 years, and the, the, their hometowns in Texas separated by 37 miles. Just uh, an unbelievable deal, and, and just couldn't be more proud for Keelan. Um, I know he is honored to be, to be in that, that list now and, and to head that list. Um, but I can promise you tonight was about the win for him and uh, and for our football team, and that's what makes him so special. Well, and guys like him, I'm going to use him for the example right now because he's a guy who set the record. His continual grinding through a long career, some injuries here and there, and being a smaller guy who gets popped around and just keeps coming at you, it's the, it's the attitude of this team, isn't it? It really is. I mean, he's resilient. You know, I always say he's kind of that throwback player. You ask him to, to go block a defensive end, he'll do it. You put him in the backfield and hand him the football, he'll do it. You want to catch a tough ball across the middle in traffic, no problem. So whatever you ask him to do, he's going to give you everything he's got. And uh, that's what makes him him. But that, I think, is typical of our football team and guys just being uh, selfless when it comes to what we got to do to continue to grow and continue to find ways to win. In the second half, you guys were very good defensively, but you were good all night long. Four of 18, you held them on third down, which is a huge number huge. to get them off the field. You have a lot of superlatives in this game. Anything really stand out? Well, again, I, I couldn't be more proud of our defense and the way those guys played. And, and, and a lot of guys played on defense. We had some guys go out with injuries, had some young guys step in there uh, that don't have the experience of some of these other guys, but really stepped in and played well. Uh, I thought our defensive line and our linebackers got a lot of pressure on the quarterback, did a nice job controlling the run game part of it. And so, uh, again, just overall, just an unbelievable performance by them on that side. And now, back home, need a crowd. Yeah, we really do need a crowd. We got a great opponent coming into town. Uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great game, uh, but we're going to need their support and need them to come out and, and be a part of this thing. And so, uh, please come out. Uh, enjoy everything that's going on around the stadium. Come enjoy the football game. Um, and it's going to be a, an electric type atmosphere. Yeah, we'll see you there, Tulsa and SMU, in about a week. Thanks, guys, indeed. Homecoming coming up, Tulsa taking on SMU. It's always a great game. We hope you all come back, especially you alums that haven't had a chance to come back to Tulsa. Come on back, and it should be a great game on Saturday at H.A. Chapman Stadium. Get your tickets at 918-631. Go to you or TulsaHurricane.com. For head coach Philip Montgomery and my broadcast partner Rick Corey, I'm Bruce Howard. Talk to you next week. The Philip Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by Riversbury Casino, by Pepsi. This has been a presentation from Learfield.